guess you could say I have a lot of bottles with an S. we were tasked with creating a range of reusable bottles in collaboration with Chili's. Now there's a lot of reusable bottles on the market and you're wanting to create something that has a long lifespan, something that people will use again and again. It had to be attractive at shelf level, also have a timeless quality and be something that people would love to carry around with them. Starting off I tried a lot of different avenues, from brand centric options, block colours, illustrations and photographic. The most successful designs involved those trademark print food creations. But I had never seen a photographic print on this type of bottle before, because if you looked at what was currently on the market at the time, it was mainly illustration, block colours, or playing around with finishes, so I wasn't even sure how a photo would work on the bottle. So we tried it, and after a few rounds of tweaks, we were really impressed with the results. Having three designs, we wanted them to all look like a set, but not all use the exact same trick. So it was finding different ways to use the imagery to give each its own point of view. In the Premiere range, we created a repeat pattern with these melting watermelon lollipops, which has a nice colour pop and the watermelon signalling fresh and thirst quenching. With the snake made up of cucumbers, we created this spiral wrap effect, tightening around the bottle's form. And finally, the more light-hearted family of robots made up from apples, which use scale and more playful positioning for the more playful characters. Having the varied applications of the imagery means it's a range that can grow and evolve. And for the second edition, we added a pear, kiwi and dill peacock to the family. For this, we created a special rear view to the character, so there's a front and back to the bottle design. I think they are quintessentially pret and beautiful designs that customers will hopefully love to use again and again. <laughs>